Okay, Dana. Okay. Uh, hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Abdul Zaidan. And I would like to introduce our group first. It's Haikal, Havin, and Rafael. So today, uh, we, we're going to pick uh, Hong Leong Bank for the... We're going to explain uh, the uh, Hong Leong Bank, the merger and acquisition. First, I'm going to talk about the Eon Bank. On December 23, 2002, Eon Bank Berhad became a publicly traded business on the main board of Bursa Malaysia, formerly the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange or Oriental Bank. It serves uh, as Eon Bank Group's holding company. And now a member, now, a member of the Hong Leong Bank Group. So here are the services and products that Eon Bank does. Uh, deposit products, retail products, enterprise financing, structure finance, equity and debt, capital markets, and others. So I'll pass to Rafael, Rafael to talk about Hong Leong Bank. Um, so... Basically, we'll be looking about the background of Hong, Hong Leong Bank. So, as we have on the poster, Hong Leong Bank on 3rd January 1994. Hong Leong Group acquired MUI Bank Bihad through Hong Leong Credit Bet Bihad through Hong Leong Credit Bihad. The bank was listed on the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange on the 17th of October 1994, and since then has grown by leaps and bounds organically as well as through mergers and acquisitions. Today's bank, today the bank is Malaysia's fifth largest group by assets. Um, they also provide the same products and services as um, Muhi's earlier hinted on, that is banking transactions, dual currency, investment, bonds, loan financing, and so on. So at this point, I'll pass to the next partner. All right, um, thank you so much, Rafael, for presenting about the Hong Leong Bank. So um, basically, I'm going to explain uh, more detail about the merger. So basically, merger is the context of a business. A merger is a combination of two or more independent business into one, which means uh, a merger is a business deal um, where two existing independent companies, which is uh, what we uh, chose, Hong Leong Bank and uh, Eon Bank, uh, where it combines to form a new singular legal entity. Uh, mergers are voluntary, basically. So Hong Leong was the, the primary company, and then uh, Aeon Bank became the subsidiary company, uh, and also the Aeon Bank became the volunteer for Hong Leong Bank. So typically, both companies are the similar size, and the scope and the objective are basically the same, and uh, their, their goal is to gain more. I'll be explaining on the types of merger. So um, there are various of types of merger, but uh, what Hong Leong Bank and Eon Bank is um, having in similar mergers are horizontal merger, which is um, merger of two firms in the same line of business. Both are financing uh, uh, companies, banking uh, companies, and uh, and then like a, a horizontal merger. It means that it occurs when two companies are operating in the same industry at the same uh, stage of production. As I said, both are same banking uh, industry. It process combined to form a single healthy uh, industry. So the goal of the original merger is typically to achieve uh, economics of scale, expand uh, market share, and also um, um, enhance the competition position and um, potentially reduce the competition. So which means like there are so many um, uh, banking industry out there. 
So Ong Liang took the opportunity. Productive, uh, effective uh, uh, competition between the other banks. And also, uh, this type of merger can lead to uh, synergies and cost of saving and increase more market power uh, in the industry itself. So uh, basically, that, that, that's what it means about the mergers and the types of merger. So I'll pass it to Osama Eichel to explain more detail about the effect of merger towards the two companies. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much to all my friends. And for the last part of our presentation today, we will talk about the what is the effect of the merger towards the company, which which is which is, which is the Hong Leong Bank merged with Yong Bank and create the Yong Bank A plus B equals to A. So Hong Leong Bank in six May two thousand eleven was announced the completion, the completion of the acquisition of Yong Bank, Yong Capital Berhad Asset and Liability. So Yong Bank Group. Uh, it, which is uh, including Islamic and investment Barha now becomes a part of a Hong Leong Bank Group. So what is the effect? Is this, this merger is about the value of creation, value location of for all stakeholders. It creates a system, systemically stronger banking group with asset size more than 140 billion, 140 billion to achieve the vision and objective under Bank Negara Malaysia financial sector master plan. As a larger bank, we are they are also objective under uh also better position to support Malaysia economic growth and transformation. Uh, like customers like us will now have a greater access to even more comprehensive suite of products and services to serve their needs that will able to reach the committee better with expanded distribution network of more than 300 branches, which is the Hong Leong Bank and 100,200 self-service terminal so we can see in now uh, which the this much of the uh Hong Leong and Eon bank is uh the effect is is a more like uh, towards the bank itself in the currency in the nature of Malaysia at that time which is a uh, 6 May 2011 so uh to conclude uh the merger like Hong Leong may combine their resources, effort, and skill in the form of either merger of consolidation. A merger is an important force of and growing phenomena both in developed and developing countries. It has significant impact of companies and financial markets. So the basic goal of merger and acquisition activity is to create value for shareholder, even though such as activity have an unfavorable in impact on employees. So I think that's all from us. Um, uh, from us, that's all from us. Me, Osama Haikal, Rafael, Muiz, and Harvin. Thank you very much to all the viewers and friends and lecturers. Um, uh, salamu alaikum. Smile.